So let's start with the big question today, and that is, can Eric Shinseki, the Veterans Affairs Secretary, survive? Uh, let's start first on that context with the Republicans. Speaker John Boehner was asked about this yesterday, and he is not calling for the resignation, but look how far forward he's leaning. I've not called for General Shinseki to uh, resign, although I have to admit I'm getting a little closer. The reports that continue to come uh, are appalling, and these are men and women who have served our country, and we've not just let them down, we've let them die. Strong words from the speaker there. And again, he said, I'm getting closer. His number three in the Republican leadership, Kevin McCarthy, actually did issue a statement, the first in the Republican leadership to say Shinseki should go. Uh, you saw the speaker getting choked up there. Uh, it's a pretty powerful line in an election year. We didn't just let them down, Maggie. We let them die. It's a very powerful line in any year, and certainly yeah. in an election year. I, I, it's hard to see how Shinseki uh, lasts very long. We were talking about this before, that we're going into Memorial Day. The timing is really terrible for the administration, and this does seem to have the feeling of uh, either stay or go, but you're going to have to rip the Band-Aid off. And Obama has kind of straddled the line in the last right. week, right? I mean, he has sort of, sort of voiced confidence in him, but sort of not voiced confidence in him. Now that you have Democrats calling for him to go as well, right. it's hard to see this it's last night. Tepid, the president and support at yes. best, I think it's yes. the way to describe it. And Nia, to Maggie's point, uh, here are a couple of Democrats in high-profile races. Allison Grimes is running against Mitch McConnell, probably the marquee Senate race in the country right now in the state of Kentucky. She tweets out yesterday, today I call on the resignation of VA Secretary Eric, Eric Shinseki, excuse me. We owe a solemn obligation to our veterans and must repair the breach of trust. Charlie Crist running for governor of Florida, a big race the Democrats want to win. I appreciate Secretary Shinseki's service. While we don't know what happened, there must be accountability. The secretary should step down. When you have Democrats in prominent races, now they're in a public feud with the White House. So number one, they disagree with the president. Number two, if you get that debate among Democrats, one of the potential impacts is depressed turnout because Democrats see a fight in the family. Uh, how long can the president let this go on? And do they have the discipline at the White House to get to these campaigns and say, stop? Well, it's, you know, do they have the discipline? Do they have uh, the sort of closeness to a lot of these campaigns? I mean, we kind of always, might be the a leverage, question. yeah. I mean, we kind of <laughs> always talk about uh, how often the White House is isolated, uh, not only from folks in the Senate. I mean, you're talking about folks like Allison Grimes out in Kentucky who want separation from this president. Uh, and I think that's another issue that's going to come up. All of these uh, Democrats who are running in red states who want to be out on the stump talking tough about this president, getting some separation, uh, that might become a factor too. Uh, in Durban, who has been, you know, very much the president's wingman on this, he also sounded very, very tepid uh, when it comes yes. to Shinseki and uh, staying on. If you feel you have to run from your White House in a campaign year, you might have to do it tactically, it's strate yes. strategically, but it can't help you. Can't help you, although this yeah. is certainly easier to run from him on than, say, Obamacare, which right. is a lot harder. So this seems like a closer call for a lot of these Democrats.